are someone who are looking for a masters in biotechnology abroad i'll be talking in this video about the top 5 global scholarship for our biotech students to pursue their masters in biotechnology so let's talk about all the top 5 global scholarship for pursuing msc in biotechnology in detail so come along with me and i'm going to discuss about the complete details of the scholarship when is going to be the application deadlines what are the documents that you'll be required at the time of application this is caroline green from biotechnica so let's get started to the video so first now let's talk about the gates cambridge scholarship so what is this gates cambridge scholarship this great cambridge scholarship is considered one of the most prestigious scholarship in the united kingdom suppose if you want to pursue your masters in biotechnology in uk definitely you can go for the gates cambridge scholarship so this is the website suppose if you want to go and check in for the a uh, website you can literally go through this and you can check in and how much is the scholarship amount going to be so approximately 18000 dollars stipend for one year you're going to get if you're going to get a gates cambridge scholarship we will be talking about in detail because masters usually be for two years so you will be having for one year this much amount for two years you're going to get and this is going to be kind of variable i'll be talking it a bit later and what's the eligibility Of course this Gates Cambridge scholarship is for all the international candidates so we Indians are also eligible to apply and if if you are applying for masters you definitely need to have your undergraduate degree it might be of microbiology or biotechnology suppose if you are microbiology but want to pursue biotechnology you are open enough to apply for the fellowship of biomedical into biotechnology if you want to go for it you can go for it and there are many many uh, masters program which are available and here i am talking about biotechnology very specifically and you need to have a very good academic records because if you're going to have a very good cgpa or percentage it's going to be a very great added value for you and definitely you need to have your english language efficiency even though you might have had your college in english it's really important you have any of the english language testing any test you might have written like ielts or toefl any examination if you have written you also have to submit that so whenever you go in for applying for a scholarship you always uh, apply for any kind of test like ielts and toefl some 3 uh, 4 months before so that the validity period will not be missed so the next important thing is what are the degrees that are available since i'm talking about biotechnology i've written masters in biotechnology is also available mphil in biotechnology because mphil is considered as masters uh, in the uk university so both the degrees are actually available and there are many more uh, degrees which are available if you want to look in you can look in for the website The next comes what are the documents you need at the time of application first important thing you have to understand whether to go and apply to a gates cambridge portal or to the university that you want to apply suppose let me take an example of any of the uk university like um university of northingham or you want to go for ucl or any of the university if you want to go for first go to the university and check in for the masters degree in biotechnology then what you have to do you have to apply to the university when you applying to the university there would be a portal where it will be giving you like are you applying for gates cambridge scholarship if it is given then you have to click on to that and then it will be making you to be eligible for the next fellowship because there also some of the uh, university will ask for why do you apply to this university and this is for the scholarship so gates cambridge statement is different university statement will be different this might be variable to different university so you need to have 500 words or 3000 characters about why do you apply to this gates cambridge scholarship and the next important thing is if your university ask for your reference letter you will be submitting one or two reference letter to the university and for the scholarship ship you will separate some different ones a so gate reference is different university reference is different in additional to the two academic references for admission suppose if you are applying for ucl then you might have applied two academic references from any of your professors but that's not only enough you need to submit extra references for a gate reference that we used to call it for and that has to be very very uh, appropriate for your application process so gate cambridge applicants submit a reference about why do they fit to the scholarship 
the person who writes this uh, in an academic position has to write why this person is fit enough to get this scholarship and of course you need IELTS or TOEFL score so this IELTS and TOEFL score is variable according to the university in IELTS they might be asking you six to seven bands in TOEFL it might be variable according to the university so you can look around these are the major important things that you will be requiring along with your university application along with the Gates Cambridge one and your language requirements of course you need all your transcripts, you need your uh, 12th grade or your junior college or your bachelor's, everything you will be submitting at the time of your application. And how much duration they're going to fund you? Of course, it's master's degree. So they're going to fund you for two years. No problem. And when usually this Gates Cambridge uh, scholarship will usually comes. So it usually comes during January or it will be within December to January. So you, during the period of December to January, you can look on to the website of Gates Cambridge scholarship or UK portal um, universities and you can look around when it's going to be the application deadline. So this year it's uh, we have till 5 January 2023 those who are wishing to apply can start applying now itself okay this is all about the gates cambridge scholarship which is the most popular scholarship which is for masters and phd everything and the next comes gates great scholarship yes it's a great scholarship so it is also from the uk and if you want to know about this uh, scholarship, you can just go on to this website, click on to this and you'll get it. And how much is the scholarship going to be? Usually uh, it's $10,000. So very accurately, it's going to be $12,000 uh, US dollars, but it might be variable. And what's the eligibility criteria for this one? Yes, of course, you need to be an international candidate. So you are an Indian, so you can apply. You need to have your undergraduate degree with a very good excellent academic record of course english language requirements toefl or ielts this happens this way when you're going to apply for gates scholarship you need to have an offer letter from the university suppose if you want to get gates scholarship you will be applying to ucl college or uc in london if you are applying for it and you need to get an offer letter from the university that you can come and join them in masters in biotechnology only if you have the offer letter, you can apply to the portal, Gates Scholarship Portal, and you can start applying the process, which means initially you need to get an offer letter from the university. So you don't have to wait until the Gates Scholarship notification come. You can literally apply for it. And when you are about to go or when you are uh, before itself, you can start applying for the Gates Scholarship by providing the offer letter from the university in the UK. So you need to know when to apply for the scholarship, when to apply for the university. The next one is, of course, Masters in Biotechnology is available. So you can get great scholarship uh, by availing this one also. What are the documents that you required? Yes, of course, if you want to apply for your PG, then definitely you need to have your undergraduate uh, degree certificate. So BSc certificates you need to have. And of course, English language proficiency certificates like IELTS or TOEFL. Most of the university, whenever you go in for scholarship, they used to ask for English language test. So it's better to take either IELTS or TOEFL before you apply for the scholarship. Next one, how much is going to be the duration of the fellowship? So the duration of funding usually going to be one year. This is most important. It's not like Gates Cambridge is going to be for two years. And the duration is going to be, suppose if you're doing master's one year, then for one year, they're going to provide you. But if you're going to do two years master's, only for the first year, they're going to provide you the scholarship. So this thing has to be taken into consideration when you're applying for scholarship. For only one year, they're going to provide. And the application deadline usually varies because as I already mentioned, so you'll be applying to the university and then only you can start applying for it. So after applying, then you can start your process of uh, great uh, scholarship one. So this is all about the great scholarship in the UK. So get Cambridge is also in the UK and great scholarship is also for the UK. The next comes Dart scholarship, which is in Germany. Yes. So this DAT scholarship, if you want to know more about it, this is more predominantly known for a PhD candidate, but they do provide for master's students also. So the website, you can go in for this one. So this is the website you can go and you can check about what is this DAT scholarship all about. And this one, I've specifically shown this official website because this is very specially for the biotechnology site. If you want to know what is uh, what are they providing in the biotechnology department, you can go for this and check. 
and the scholarship amount if you're going to see at least i've written 750 um, european uh, their money which is going to be and triple eight us dollars they're going to provide approximately this is a minimum value that i have given it might be variable according to the courses that you're going to choose and what's going to be the eligibility criteria? Of course, language requirements like IELTS or TOEFL if you're going to have. And if you have GRE, general or subjective, it's going to be an added value for you. So you need to have your bachelor's degree. And most important thing is your bachelor's degree shouldn't be three years. So we usually do BSc three years. So if you want to go in for master's, then they are not going to allow you. So bachelor's degree, usually a four year course. Suppose if you have done three years and you've done your master's again, you can go for it because we usually have three years bachelor's only. So you can study one year of some courses so that you complete four years of your courses and then you can apply for this. And approximately you need to have at least two years of professional experience this is dad scholarship so you need to have four years bachelor's or three plus one any of the things you can take along with any two years of experience in anywhere then you can start applying for your master's and what is the degree of course master's of science in biotechnology that you can visit this website so that you will get all the information about biotechnology and these are the things they are going to teach you at when you're going to land in germany uh, cell biology microbiology bioanalytics and laboratory diagnosis and there are two ways that you can apply to this department. One is a three semester version. Another one is a four semester version. The three semester version will be 15th January for the summer semesters and 15th July for the winter semester. So you have to apply to the department by January or by July. So make sure that when you're applying for biotechnology, you're remembering the three semester you're going to apply or for four semesters. You're going to apply accordingly. You can apply and the documents, these are some of the documents that you would be requiring when you're going to apply for dad scholarship. So you need to have your hand signed CV. Yes, it shouldn't be a printed format and hand signed letter of motivation or we can say SOP you need to have and definitely a recommendation letter from the employer because they asked you for two years experience. So you need to get a recommendation letter from the employer and confirmation of the employer from where you are exactly working. Suppose if you're working in a, a company in India, then you need to have, yes, of course, you worked over there and they have to provide you that certificate. And of course, TOEFL or IELTS score along with your bachelor's transcript. So these are all the important documents that you'll be requiring at the time of your uh, dad scholarship application. How many uh, years they're going to fund you? Almost one to two years. If you're going to take one year, then they're going to fund you for one year master's. If you're going to take two years, usually two years is given for a biotechnology. So two years, they're going to definitely fund you. And what's going to be the application deadline for that scholarship? It's usually going to be in September. So if you have missed this September, then you can think about applying for the next one so this is all about the dad scholarship in germany so i've been talking about two scholarship in uk and one scholarship in germany the next comes japanese government's next scholarship so let's talk about this scholarship also in detail yes so if you want to know more about this scholarship you can go into the website you're going to see in here so you just have to go to this website and you can see and Japanese scholarship is going to fund you fully. Like if you're going to do it for two years, they're going to fund you for full. So full fee will be given by them. And you need to have your undergraduate degree, excellent academic record and the age limit is given here. Previously, in most of the scholarship, you won't find any age limit. But here, Japan is asking you 35 years. And Japanese scholarship will be provided to countries which has collaboration with Japan. So India has a collaboration. So definitely all the Indians are applicable to apply for this. And what are the documents that is required? This is very important. When you're going to apply, next application form is given. You're not going to apply online. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the Japanese government MEX scholarship India portal. That's going to be India portal and you're going to download the form. And after downloading the form, you are going to fill the form, whatever is asked. And after that, you're going to send it to the embassy. Uh, which is in India and there they will ask you all the documents. So you'll be submitting your CV, your photograph, your passport, your two recommendation letter, SOP, English language requirements, everything you will be giving to the embassy in India and uh, there will be an interview after if you got selected, then you can go to the uh, master's program in Japan. So application usually will be in April or May. You have to download the application, fill the form and send it by courier to the embassy in and Delhi. Uh, what's the degree? Masters in biotechnology is available and they're going to fund you for 
two years. Full funding is given by the Japan. The next comes the Chinese government scholarship. Even China provides scholarship for us to do uh, masters in biotechnology. So if you want to know about the website, you can go to the CSC portal account. So this is going to be the portal where you're going to apply and the scholarship amount is going to be variable a b c so a is going to be the maximum amount suppose if you are able to manage your expenses by your own funding then you can go for scholarship uh, category b and c suppose if you cannot fund yourself then you can definitely go for a because a is competing and it's going to be huge amount than b and c Eligibility criteria, of course, you need to be international students. Indians are eligible to apply 35 years. Age limit is given. Bachelor's degree you need to have with good academic result. And documents, three universities in CSE portal. Listen carefully. This is not going to be an application form. You're going to go to the CSE portal, this portal. And there in that portal, you will be selecting three university and the courses that you want to apply to. Any three universities in China, you can apply to. Along with that, you will be submitting your transcript and a medical certificate from our government. And CV, of course, and two recommendation letters and passport copy or TOEFLs and IELTS. If you have any uh, Chinese language requirement test, if you have written or if you have learned something, then you can also uh, put that documents over there. And the application deadline usually going to be uh, from January to April of every year. So every year you'll see, and this is also going to be masters in biotechnology and the duration of funding is usually going to be for two years only. Uh, you can see till December also. So this is all about the Chinese government scholarship, Japanese government, Max scholarship, Gates Cambridge scholarship, great scholarship, that scholarship. So I've been talking about some of the top five, but there are many scholarship in Singapore, in Germany, in Norway, in Denmark, in US. So these are some of the most popular for MSc in biotechnology candidate where you can fetch easily. So look around to the website that I've been talking about. If you want to know uh, the notification when the scholarship will be coming, you, we usually uh, can see it in the Biotechnica's website when the scholarship usually coming. You can just go to the website and look around so that you'll get to know when the scholarship usually comes. So I believe that this video is helpful for all of you who are looking for a scholarship to pursue. MSc in Biotechnology. So thank you all of you for your time and I'm going to meet you back again with another video. Until then, take care.